Greetings from Kirkwood and welcome to the partnership update for November 2017. I'm Todd Prusha and today I'm going to run through some upcoming events with deadlines, talk a little about the Department of Education CTE service area definitions and introduce you to our Kirkwood College Credit and High School updated website. Let's get started. We first event here is Young Women's STEM event. Kirkwood will be hosting an event to celebrate young women interested in STEM. The event will be held at the Lynn County Regional Center in, well, that's on December 15th. The event is for 7th through 12th grade girls. There's no cost to attend, but registration is limited. And you're able to contact Casey Keeling to receive the registration link from, uh, or with any questions. A uh, reminder here of new CTE service area, information solutions. As a result of House File 2392 and the CTE redesign guidance from our high, for our high schools, I want to briefly review the six CTE service areas and highlight the newest area. The current service areas are labeled here. We have Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources, Information Solutions, and that's the new one, Applied Science, Technology, Engineering, and Manufacturing, probably known as Industrial Technologies in the past, Health Sciences, and Human Services, and that one was Education and Human Services before, I believe. Uh, so as you can see, some of the labels have changed, but the curricular areas are essentially the same. But a couple of the major differences that are present, there no longer exists a, exists a separation between marketing and the general business service area. Marketing is now part of the business, finance, marketing, and management strand, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, information solutions is the new service area, and that did not exist previously. Um, the information solutions strand includes arts, and that would be like graphic arts, audio, video, technology, communications, information technology, computer science. So as a result of this new service area, the Board of Educational Examiners has created a new 5 through 12 CTE information technology endorsement. And it'll recognize the specified technology courses as part of the comprehensive CTE program. This endorsement will allow districts to have the option of utilizing specific technology courses as CTE courses when they're taught by an instructor who holds the, this new endorsement. Uh, this applies to those classes like programming and networking classes taught, but not your basic software courses. Those basic software courses will still fall under the business department or the business endorsement. So during the first year of implementation, August of 2017 through August of 2018, experienced programming and networking teachers may apply to have the coursework requirements waived and the endorsement added to their license or grandfathered in. Now we recommend that all experienced programming and networking technology teachers apply to add the endorsement this year to take advantage of this window. So current CTE teachers who qualify will have all coursework waived. Math and science and other non-CTE CTE teachers who have been teach, teaching programming and networking technology should still apply for the waiver as they can still waive all but the CTE methods for, the, um, for those teachers. The waiver application is on the BOEE homepage for information regarding the CTE programs, service areas. You can contact Pat Tebin and Pat's at the Department of Education. If you have questions or need information regarding the new endorsement, contact Joanne Tubbs at the Board of Educational Examiners. So my last piece of information today relates to a recently revealed facelift to our Kirkwood College Credit and High School website. The address there is www.kirkwood.edu forward slash earn credit, and that earn credit is just one word. The old page was a bit dated and it needed some improvements, and so we hope you'll find the new page easy to use and full of the information that you need to support your students toward concurrent enrollment success. Please take a look and let us know if you have any questions, if there's anything missing, and if you have comments for us. That's all for this month. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next month.